guys, welcome back to Grubbing with Melissa. Today, instead of making an easy dinner dish, we are going to make an easy party dish. You know, you get called and it's like, hey, we're having a party, do you think you can bring something to this party? And you're like, sure, or it's a potluck and you gotta bring something to a party. Now this is easy, it takes a couple steps, it's amazing, and it's gonna have everybody talking at the party about your dish, let's go. All right guys, so for this recipe, all you need is two cans of white chicken in a can. So it looks like this, you got chicken, it's almost like a tuna fish, but it's not tuna fish, it's chicken. Um, can't really see it, let's see if I can get closer. There you go. You wanna make sure you drain the liquid out because you don't want that to be in there. So you're gonna take your two cans, you're gonna take your blender. Now this is optional because you can shred it, so if you want more of a shredding, this is a dip, but I like to have it pretty soft. So you dump that in there, dump that in there like that. Then you're gonna need some buffalo sauce. Up to you, I'm using this one, it's original buffalo. You can use hot, whatever form of you know hot sauce you like. Then you're just gonna pour. I'm gonna use half the bottle, just for now. Put the lid on like that, and we're gonna go ahead and stir this. Well, not stir it, but you know, it's a dude's job. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up so you know, get it all in there. And just like that, that part is done. All right guys, now that your dip is nice and, you know, it's pureed, I wanna say. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's textured. You can again, chop it up with a fork, make it more chunkier if you like. I like to use this, which is a crock pot, because then you don't have to worry about it. So you're just gonna pour your chicken dip in there like this. Just like that. That's hot. So, because it is spicy, the way to make this tolerable at a party where people are not like dying and needing to get drinks of water and can't eat your dip, what you're gonna do is we're gonna add some cheese to it. Up to you. I'm going to use a four cheese Mexican blend. Um, I'm gonna put half, because I like a lot of cheese, it makes it taste good. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of a taco blend, because that has good seasoning. So, I'm gonna put some of this in there, I think. Maybe not. Let's not add some taco blend. Yeah. I don't think that taco blend's good. Make sure you check the expiration date because it smells a little funky. So cheese shouldn't smell, I mean, cheese smells funky, but not funky like this. So yeah, we're gonna toss that and not use that cheese. So quite frankly, that cheese smells like feet. And I don't think anybody wants to have a dip that smells like feet. That'd be quite disgusting, correct? So the next step onto this, we're gonna turn this on to high. You're gonna grab yourself a knife because we're gonna put a thing of cream cheese in it, which I don't even think I need a knife, but let's see. Yep. Yeah. Let's use a knife. So let's cut this open. Now, you can make this where it's, you know, softer. It's not soft, so, but it's still, it's gonna melt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, you know, a nice chunk like this, put that in there, put another chunk, and this is what's going to make it creamy. It's gonna kill some of the heat because it's gonna have that soft, creamy texture of cream cheese in it, like that. And then you're gonna put the top on. <laughs> put the top on. You're gonna let it sit and make sure it cooks, and you're gonna come back, you know, throughout and stir it up so everything mixes really nicely. Right now it's still typely cold, so it's not gonna mix very well. And that's pretty much it and you're done. Now there is an option that you can do. Um, I think blue cheese is amazing. And I don't know what it is, but when I get buffalo wings, I have to have blue cheese, not ranch, not nothing else. I think blue cheese is the key and celery. I wonder what celery would taste like this. Hmm, might have to try that. So you can put blue cheese in this, but not everybody likes blue cheese. So you can put it on the side and eat it with the dip as well, like mix it into your dip. And you don't want to forget your chips. So these are white corn tortilla chips. You can get any kind you like like this. So now we're just gonna let this sit and you go on with your day, get ready for the party, whatever you need. And you don't have to worry about your dish because it's gonna be amazing. 
All right, so I'm just curious why this is cooking. I just wanted to ask you guys, what is your favorite dish to bring to a party? Is it vegetables? Is it like an actual dish with rice and chicken? There's so many other things that you can bring, like fruit trays and you can make your own dishes, but what's a dish that you make on your own that you love to bring to a party and everybody talks about it and every time there's a party, they say, hey, I want you to bring this dish because it's amazing. One for my parents is my mom's rice. Every party we have, they're always like, please make your rice because it's that amazing and I want to make a video with my pops showing you how to make that rice. So if you would like to see that video, say make rice, make rice, and we'll get that rice cooking and it's amazing and you won't regret it. All right, so the dip is done and we're gonna try it, test it out. Now, you know, this is my dip, so I could double dip, but I know there's people out there that are like, oh my God, did you double dip? They won't eat it. So of course at parties, you want to break off a piece, you know, ah, broke in there. Get a little bit of the dip and then try it. Mmm. So amazing. It's creamy, it's spicy. Again, break the chip, you know, respect other people. But if it's your family and you're making it at home and you like to double dip like me, double dip. All right guys, that's it for this video. I appreciate you watching, supporting me, being there. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below what you think and if you've ever tried this dip before. I have a new video coming out Thursday, so make sure you're subscribed, you got that bell on. You know, you don't want to miss these videos. And until next time, guys, I'll see ya.